Hi, everyone. Welcome once again to our next episode of Everyday Enlightenment. Please keep sending in your questions. They're fantastic. I do, I, as you know, I do my best to email everyone back. Uh, sometimes that's difficult, but I do my best uh, to get back to everybody. So let's get right into, I'm holding my phone here because this, this is such a great question. So uh, let's, just, let's just get right into it. This is from Gina. Thank you, Gina, so much. Okay, this is what Gina says. Hi, RG, thank you for your email. It's exciting to see you coming forward with your testimony and revelations. My single biggest question is, are we having fun yet? Much love to you, holy brother. Okay, are we having fun yet? Oh, I love, I love this question. I love this question. Okay. When you see your life as playtime, your life is a joy. Now, on the deepest levels, on the deepest levels, every frequency, every dimension, every reality, every parallel reality, it is playtime. It's all just creativity. Everywhere you go. Forever. It is an endless game of self-mastery where you get to create and create and create in order to understand, understand the true immortal creator within you. It's all playtime. All of it. Always. Now, I'm going to personalize this for a moment. Uh, there was uh, instances in this incarnation and others, but in this incarnation where I was communicating with, with, uh, with God, with Source, with Creator. This will be captured in some upcoming, upcoming books and courses. So direct, intelligent conversations with what we call, what we call God. And they're very fascinating. They're, they're different from maybe other uh, conversations with God, if you will. Okay. One of the things that is unforgettable and unmistakable when you actually do communicate directly with the source of all things is the playfulness of source, of God, creator, whatever word you want to use. The, the playfulness of a child. That that's literally how, how source, creator, God behaves with a wisdom that's incomprehensible mixed in at the same time. But the playfulness, the joy, and the moment that you, that you lose that yourself when you're communicating, actually communicating, the moment that you lose that purity, that playfulness yourself, God disappears, gone. Now you gotta do it again, <laughs> you gotta do it again, right? Okay, so it, it, it's all playtime. You're immortal. You have nothing to worry about. No one does. <laughs> You're here to enjoy yourself. Enjoy this body. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your family. Enjoy all the things that physical reality has to offer. It is playtime. It is fun. Take a look at what it is that is robbing you of the idea of not having fun. And I really mean this. Take a look at it. It's this. It's the subconscious, patterned, egoic mind. Always. That siphons off the joy of everything. <laughs> now, you are not the subconscious, patterned, egoic mind. Okay, we all have to work through that, let go of the indentations and identifications of these things. But once we do this, and forget about enlightenment or self-realization. Forget about that. Who cares? Who cares, right? We just want to be able to enjoy ourselves, enjoy our family, enjoy our friends, and enjoy this experience. I promise you, it's playtime. And it's always playtime. This never changes. 
the key is to is to learn how to let go of the subconscious pattern egoic mind and you return to what you are joy love laughter it's playtime it truly is it truly is every realm every frequency every reality every parallel condition every dimension is just a creative realm for you to create it's literally all playtime the multiverse is a hall of multi-frequential and multi-dimensional hall of mirrors for you to play and create and see the reflection of yourself within it that's it give yourself permission to have fun again remember what this was like do you remember that when you played and have fun that's what you really are that's your natural state even now with all the bizarre things that goes on within with within this version of earth that we're, that we're all experiencing it's still playtime. Some people are just creating nightmare scenarios for themselves, but it's still their own imagination. Gina, I love your question. I hope I answered it. 